okay so today we are going to again continue understand some basic uh, again use case of this uh, microservice so till now uh, we have uh, covered to build this uh, one microservice and that microservice can expose some endpoint a rest endpoint via get by a put by a delete by a update right so generally right. now what we think i want to create one employee so we are just posting only one employee at a time right one employee right. and one employee is created and you want to delete only one employee id pass you can delete right right but sometime i want hey i have a 10 employee i want to create at one time okay i have to create a 10 employee your 10 user your 10 customer I have to call my uh, create endpoint, post endpoint 10 times, right? Right. Then, possible we can just create my 10 object here, 10 object, and say, hey, post endpoint, can you take my bulk request and add in the database? I don't want to call uh, for the 10 times, just create uh, customer, create customer, create customer, create customer, right? So our post endpoint can support list of record or uh, you can say batch request means key not the only single record maybe 10 record 20 record 100 record right right so this operation known as your api support bulk operation as well as collections of record as well as currently whatever we build the our microservice and post api they only ex create only one record at a time right Hmm. So let's understand ki how we can say, hey, my microservice, you expose another endpoint. Sometime I want to create one customer, it's good for me. But some I want, sometime I want to create a 10 bulk request, right. right? So how our microservice support bulk request and bulk response. So currently, at this, we have to understand ki how our API responds bulk. You notice find all. Find all is your bulk response. Whatever the customer record you have, you return all, right? So for the response side, for returning one record, we and already know. Returning mm -hmm. all record, already we know. Do all we have a method called save all? We have to, yes, save all, have. <laughs> so save all will be used in this? Yeah, you are right. Your direction approach is correct. Our repository support you can say save all right right question is that ki how our endpoint first receive all the requests right until okay. we are not receiving this uh, 10 uh, customer record how you can say hey save all right mm -hmm. so let's explore this is very simple but we have to just know explore test right it's good yeah so today our objective we are going to understand ki how we generate bulk request patch request huge set of data right maybe 10 20 thousand right okay. let's do so there are a couple of approaches let's going to step by step right right so as usual let's start our spring spring boot uh, initializer start, start one basic project, simple, right? Yeah. In this project, we don't need database. Uh, we can need, where are you going to store database? Oh, we yeah, need... yeah, data, 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 right, right. <laughs> I'm going to store 10 customer where I'm going to save. So let's right. here, uh, we can go with the, uh, uh, simply I need a REST API, so I need a BIM, mm -hmm. but put REST API, I need a, JPA, JPA. JPA. I uh, needed S2 database, not going to MySQL, but similarly S2 database, right? I'm not going to create any new table, right? Oh, you're doing S2? Okay, okay. Uh, you can do MySQL already. We cover multiple classes. You can do. There is no changes in the database. You change MySQL database, Postgres database, MySQL database, anything. Our application, we have same, right? 
So today we are going to understand how our application receive the bulk request and respond, right? Yeah. And let's say Lombok, right? Lombok, yeah. yeah. Just for a uh, uh, developer help, right? It will save more time, right? Right. So it's sufficient. And just this is the Maven project. And just for any package name you can give. And here say, uh, what demo? Mm, bulk, uh, bulk request. Bulk request, bulk processing. Bulk processing. Okay, bulk processing, and you can give any name, not in this one, not in this. Okay, so this is my basic uh, application. So, good thing here, these things you can do from IntelliJ, you can do from manually command from, but the spring in a slicer give easily, you can build your application structure, right? Uh, so, let's download this till now. Any confusion? We are just going to spring wave for building REST API. Uh, storing data in a uh, database. Hey, I mean, after uh, after this uh, 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 this uh, uh, topics, this lecture, do we have enough time for the unit testing? Yeah, we'll cover. We'll cover. Okay. That. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm thinking we'll plan. We'll plan first. Uh, okay. Let's get this topic, and surely we have to understand how to do the testing. Okay. Testing. Okay. Uh, let's uh, do this. This uh, generate the. Project and this is the downloaded. Go to the folder. My system is a little bit slow. Why not opening? It's open, right? So, this is the my uh, uh, bulk processing. Just uh, extract all. Here to and open this IntelliJ. Let's trust them. And applications is. So here, let's uh, create basic. Uh, one customer object and uh, just uh, do the processing, right? And right. He, uh, we need uh, one more to test swagger, right? Okay. I uh, go to the Spring Doc, right? Spring Doc, okay. Oh, yeah, for the testing. For testing, we can test not a postman, just use the swagger, right? This. Uh, Little bit help. Um, somehow my internet is today very performing slow. So every company company use Swagger. A lot of company use Swagger, right? Because uh, my previous company they use Postman. A lots of uh, both are very usually highly used. But Postman is just for generally used by the all the tester QA to test, right? Postman provide lots of other things as well, not only the API testing, okay? Oh, they do other things too. Uh, but uh, yes, um, many applications not using Swagger because they are UI application, they are testing from UI directly. There is no need of Swagger, right? But right. if you are exposing your application and that uh, microservice can be used by the different company, different vendor, different, different company, so generally we expose it. Uh, our REST API documentation, right? So how some company, uh, some third party vendor are going to consume my REST endpoint? So who are going to provide the documentation means key, what is the URL name, what is the input parameter, what is the output parameter, right? How someone know? The Swagger is just documentation tool. They help us to document your REST API. And apart okay. from that, also expose uh, functionality. You can test them. That is the added benefit, right? You can test it, yeah. So let's just uh, uh, add this, OK? So this is sufficient. Only one uh, additional things, uh, Swagger documentation, right? 
you can say this yeah. is documentation means just we are saying if someone know about my rest api what is the url what is the request parameter what is the response parameter right right also they want they can test them both feature so we are good so just uh, uh, let's uh, go to our application okay and here simply just build one uh, rest controller to rest api right right at the rate rest controller just write one class controller okay and just uh, test uh, public uh, static uh, just say hello it's check it's application basic working or not okay hello right. just return uh, hello hello time okay time would be local date time dot now okay just check my application is working and not this okay. just let's start and check my application just this is for testing our application have any not a configuration is right okay right. missing to send the request you are all right the get mapping okay slash hello okay right let me it so it works yes it's uh, Started. Let me restart and test our swagger working. This endpoint one simple endpoint works, so be right? Right. So it would be good. So let's go on the URL and check local host less hello right so it's responding let's uh, test our swagger swagger so you have it deploy swagger one endpoint just test it's working right they are getting our response right 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 yeah working. let's uh, just build one uh uh one more uh, 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 our endpoint like let one declare class like a customer okay and customer have a let's uh a long name okay you can add any other property later right let's right. do it too. and just uh, make uh, hey this is my entity so that it can be stored in the database right right and here uh, uh need uh, this is the id auto generated and this is the generated value okay this is good and i want to limbox generate setter getter argument right so here just right. say, hey uh, this is the one of uh, is64 uh, instead of you writing a setter getter two times one more notation you can say hey instead of writing here uh setter right you can write to uh, write a uh, getter, right? Uh, right. You can say like uh, two uh, string, okay? These are multiple things we are writing, and here say, okay. so here say for three combined, you can just write one annotation, add the red data. So instead of writing three, you can just remove and write the data. This is the most simple combined of all three, right? Oh, okay, okay. That's just combined. Okay, okay. Yeah. So this is also you can use data. Data internally, getter, setter, twisting, cover everything for it, right? Right, right. Okay. Let's check this data work or not. They have a it's clear, clear. We have this is the data, this is the entity, and ID prime. This is sufficient, right? Right. And just let's uh, create one post endpoint, right? To save right. Uh, first need a repository. First need our one interface, customer repo. Okay, right. And extend inherit the property from JPA. 
JPA repository and say, hey, this is a customer and long your primary key. This is sufficient, right? Right. And after that, say, I controller, I am just say, hey, my customer, customer repository, repo, and just initialize from the constructor, right? Right. Now we are ready to build our post mapping. Let's first going to add only one record, then get the bulk record, right? OK. So uh, maybe mapping, say, slash user. One user you can pass here. You can post only one user, right? Right. So say public uh, return user. Oh, oh, sorry, customer, not user. Customer, OK? Customer, customer yeah. We are missing something. Customer, and just uh, create one. Create one, yeah. One. Only one I want to create. So I need a one customer. Customer. And here say, hey, my rep return repository dot save. OK? And I'm just saving this uh, one customer, OK? Right. So this is now we created one customer, OK? C-U-S-T-O-M-E-R, OK? Right. Customer. And uh, let's, uh, whatever this customer I am saving, they, it's worker. One let's key uh, get mapping get all right. Just one once created I say okay. Get all yeah. Get okay and they return all customer. All customer here say yeah. I a repo dot find all. Repo dot find all okay and they give me the list of all customers. Right. customer okay so till now i have just to post mapping and get mapping. let's uh, try to uh, add one customer it's successfully save and they return and here let's uh check our uh this uh, data is getting me uh those all two string and set again how to verify just print the value here right so let's right. Say, uh, repo dot find all the variable and just print s out whenever you say hey s out so all customers all customers here by default system whenever you're printing any object two string method going to know if this class have a two string method this value properly print right right so just verification key this uh, work for all now don't rewrite set uh, get a uh, two string this is one annotation data is sufficient right right so now our uh, REST API done, let's uh, test it, right? <laughs> Application is started. And uh, check my endpoint, uh, point, right? uh post controller and get controllers customer so let's test the uh, notice uh, uh, passing any here uh, missing parameter request board, right here we miss post me this is the request board right right uh, request body uh, we miss request body stop because post we need a uh, or request body request body right? right and let's say hey application start so hope uh, it will start it yes start it let's refresh again test uh, we are getting proper response. Okay. Uh, now this is the post and try out. Now we have a response, right? Request body. Right. So 
I am going to ask them. Here, at a time, only one request I can send. It means I can create, let's say, a customer uh, Smith, right? So one name I can create. This is the one Smith created. And our, uh, this is the, hey, all customer I get, try out, and getting my customer detail here, right? Yes, me. Okay. Uh, yeah, notice here in the, our customer name printed here, right? Properly. Right. All customers. You see our two strings set together all work, right? Right. So this is good. But here our object, I guess I want to create one more customer. So I can go again say, hey, I am create another customer. Okay, John. So I have to again call this uh, post uh, endpoint, right? And again creating app. If I want right. to create one more, so the same number of time we have to create multiple times. Now we have two customer, right? But uh, right. I, again one. So I'm going to create again hit maybe Mary, right? Right. So why not all the same? I want to create a three customers. Why not pass all the three in the same name here, right? It would be easy. But will it work? Uh, it currently not works. <laughs> we have to going to learn, right? Right, right. This is a requirement. This is a thing. Now we are successfully able to load all data. But for all customer, we have to uh, hit this endpoint, uh, post endpoint multiple times, right? So yeah. let's uh, expose one more endpoint that support not only one, that support list of customer, right? Here I can pass two, three, four. Currently, let's say I pass uh, two customer here, okay? Two names. One, one uh, Ajay and one, uh, let's uh, end the... One Anis, okay, two customer in this way. I want right. So currently, if you pass this, this I want this should work, right? Two customer, three customer, ten customer, right? So right. if you look here, it will uh, showing some notice. It will not uh, uh, saving this record. Notice, Anis. Only first one they save, right? Right. But Anis is they miss, right? But I want to Anis should we go right? But why they are not doing region is that notice here this uh, endpoint only uh, except this only one customer, right? Post endpoint are expecting only one customer to pass. The only one they are going to screen, right? Right. So it would be possible we can create their list, right? So let's do. So here I same thing I'm going to say, hey, just say I need the customers right here. And here not one, many, right? Many customers. Here say I need a list. Right? Here is a list. Okay, list of customers. And notice here this same method is not work because same method is not the same uh, these customers. They are very unhappy, right? So here I am going to use the different method as you say, as you say there is another method that is save all, right? Save all methods are changed. Right? Now they return your list. So this is the only change. Instead of save method, you can say I need to save all. And our request parameter not receive only one, they receive the list of customers. Right? So this okay. is such way now your endpoint support you can return or you can create bulk request. Right. So that Sometime whenever you are building application, you have to expose such post endpoint that receive multiple requests, right? Right. Sometimes this is needed. So let's test. And that's the notice now two endpoints. One is the customers, one is the customer, two endpoints. Notice that. Just check that uh, uh, this, if you click here, and this is a response body, uh, this is a request body, only one, right? 
and look right. uh, response uh, request body of this notice here they inside this array block right this is the array block oh yeah, yeah you can include others yeah here you can include anything so here you can say hey id automatic created i, I already know the so here say this is the uh, uh, one my my uh, name smith eh? and here you can say similarly comma another comma another comma another any number of request you can pass here john <laughs> and before, uh, before sending let's check our customers how many customers we have because we are using a studio database by default whenever server is start all the data loss right so notice right. there is a, uh, no customer because we are not using mysql so all there is no customer right this is the major differences between H2 and MySQL. H2 is the in-memory database. Until your server is running, you are restored data, right? Oh, Here, the server is st not started yet. Server is started now. We are not using MySQL. We are using in H2 database. H2, H2 database. database. H2 database is not store your permanent data, right? Right, right. So whenever it restarts server, all the data uh, is lost, lost right. right? So let's... Uh, is executing no customer and let's i'm going to create not uh, one but many here i'm going to create i'm created a list of requests and just let's submit right i submitted and now i'm going to verify my this request. so notice i'm getting the created all the record it's good so yeah. this is the way you can support bulk request now this endpoint are supporting arrays of the data a collections of your customer right this is the one of the syntax differences between you know, whenever you say list this parameter open and close uh array symbol is started in the json in json request list is the array array of data and in the java side array considered as a list the here we have to change as list of customer that means your this endpoint are expecting pass the list of data list of data may be one two hundred thousand right right then any number of customer you can support to save okay Got it. so it's clear how we are going to create the bulk request right right Similarly, sometime I want to hey, uh, get request. Here, here getting all. Okay, here getting all. But I don't want to get all. I just want to get one or two or three, right? Right. Here say get one means key customers slash here say ID, right? Here say ID. Right. So here say ID means key here say or uh, just one. Here say long. Uh, Long, long ID, and he has said, "Don't return all. Just say find by uh, ID, right? right? Pass your ID. Okay. So notice uh, this uh, through is there written only one, right?" But here say might be your pa ID passing wrong. Maybe I'm returning null or not something. So here you say, hey, if not found, then what happened? So here notice we have two options. You can say here optional, or you can say, no, I want to give some error message, warning message. Hey, this ID is not exist, something, right? That's a valid meaning, right? Right. So here say R else throw. And here say I'm throw exception. Give some message. Message maybe like uh, here say, hey, uh, new runtime exception. I say, hey, uh, customer ID not found, right? Customer is not found, right? Customer right. is not 
for id just id means right ID and this like message that. will show on the browser let's learn <laughs> this is a good <laughs> question today we have to learn how this message go to the let's play first test where this message go right let's i'm going to test right and uh, one thing whenever i'm again going to start server my data loss right so right. let's uh, in the first class you notice we have a uh, learn uh, on the server startup you can load some data right so let's say when my server start i'm going to load 10 data so you can so use the uh, class class uh, load database okay load basic uh, initial data right load right. Uh, database last first class we learn key how can just configure a configuration file right this is the configuration and i'm going to create just one bean and here say notice command line runner command line runner yes yeah, this is the class right a load init data load load uh, db load db uh, load db here and here say i need the repository customer repository i want to say some customer customer report okay right. and here say return so notice this command line runner is a functional interface so we have to implement through lambda expression right so here say uh, uh, lambda expression okay here say let's i'm going to create a 10 customer okay 10 customer or whenever server is start right now whenever uh, just play us out load tv load tv done so what happened why i'm writing this if i start all my there is no data to test again i'm going to create the post uh, port request to uh, generate data right so we have two options one option while server is startup why we cannot load some data right right uh, so notice load done but currently i'm not loading any data right there is no any load data but whenever on the server is startup time whenever server is start you want to run some code right eh? then you have to use this command command line runner here whatever the code you want to return this is run first right before server right. is startup so now server is startup i can load some data in the database right but notice whenever i am testing uh, hey uh, get all customer i am i am not getting any data because due to the this is the problem with the h2 database if server is startup all the data flash is to gone if you right. use mysql always you are getting a data right Right. But not an issue. let's code write the code. Hey, server is startup. You put some data. So let's I'm going to create a generator 10 customer, right? So let us maybe here generate uh, what? Uh, let's uh, use the entry stream. We are again using a core Java and the range. Let's start uh, some uh, 100 to 200 record. I'm going to create bulk request, right? Right. So here I'm going to create and say hey uh map to long because our uh, ID is the long value, right? By default, this is the int. So instead of int, I can say long stream, right? Long right. long stream, okay. Long stream dot range. Range, let's say start from one thousand to uh one thousand to let's one hundred to 100 50 record 50 record i'm going to create right yeah 10 record and say here then map uh, uh, whatever the id whatever the id i'm going to create a new customer okay Cus customer okay and here pass id and comma name okay name and just underscore your id as a just generate logical name right here i'm what say no argument constructor let's generate constructor right here let's right. generate all our constructor right and no our constructor 
both constructor are generated. So now compiler happy. Now map to object. And now here say uh, dot to list. To list, OK? I am just generated here list of customer, right? Now this is a list of customer. As out, let's check this is a list of customer. And I have a repository. And the repository say, hey, repository dot save all, right? Right. And save, save this list. So I am going to customers. Okay. Customers, OK? So this is the one way you are loading bulk data on the server startup. This is the one more way, right? Whenever server start, you want to load some 50 record, right? So this right. will generate 50 record and save in the database. That's right. I started. So this is another way to load bulk data in your system on the server startup. Right. So let me check. I think we have uh, another way. Notice the, we have generated customers right here. This is all the customers. Well, I think 50 customers we generated, right? And let's okay. check all loaded in the database as well as. Database done. Because this is the line done. And I'm going to just so and check my customer, all customer, right? Notice this is the all the record we generated, right? Right? You are able to see all 50 records are generated, right? This is a loop. No, it's a re response written by your uh, this, no? Not a loop. They return all the different name 100, name 101, 102, one different name I generated, no? Right. There are 50 customers we created, right? This is a, let's say in the customer name, right? Uh, customer right. name, can, right? Customer name, just generate the random number, right? So here I'm trying to say this is the, another way where you can generate bulk data in your system at the runtime. Uh, this data you can get from the file system or Excel system anywhere and just use this repository at save all. They are saving the all the customer in your database, right? Correct. And let's again test. So now I am going to test again. So notice they are generating all 100 to 50 customer, right? Right. Why 150? Because I here generate loop 100 to 150. So this is the 50 customer we generated, right? Mm -hmm. So you can also verify in the database. So let, let me check the post. Uh, here is the database somewhere name, right? Okay. First, we have to MySQL enable MySQL, right? How to enable? How to here? This information is in database, but how do I verify this is this store come from database? So S2 database have some console, right? Do you know? Uh, right. here, uh, this is the things we have to enable to database to configuration. This property you have to put in your uh, database to enable, right? So let's uh, just go my application property. I want to this data come from database, right? So just go here and your application property. Just say, hey, I want to enable H2 database console, right? So this help us now we can verify this data in one our uh, swagger as well as uh, from the database as well. As. Look like you are going to check in the MySQL. Similarly, in the H2 database, you can so. Uh, so how to launch? Uh, this is the link you have to just. So here say, hey, now uh, this is the, so what the database name so here they generated by default database name somehow right this is the by default name they generated right this is the copy and just uh, 
placed here and just connect now you have connected and this is the customer table and this so notice this is all the customers generated in database right right yeah, yeah. and similarly if you are using the swagger from swagger you can also verify all the customers are here come and even we can generate uh, our uh, this that's my bulk request here i can generate this a uh, uh, 10 or uh, 5 more record they are generated and you can go to console database hey run again query and notice here this four five also record generated right bulk request here five record generated yeah. Similarly, you can verify from your uh here from customer here as well as so this is all the customer name from database loaded and this is the my node right right so this is the way uh, he, here uh whenever i'm server restart this automatic always change right whenever right, right. Server, yeah, uh, you showed us the id uh, so he, here you can set the name hey don't always the give the new name while testing i have always go to find out here id notice again they started the new uh, something id if uh, here new id they generated you can say hey the spring don't always give the new i have some problem with the testing let's again i am test after server restart again i run query they are refreshed and i am connecting i am saying there's no database exists because this is the chain database so here i have give some name so how to give the configuration name same like uh, your uh, mysql database configuration similarly you need the H uh h2 database configuration right this is the same things you can just write here right this is the database configuration right so here say i am going to say no always don't generate new name just say hey this is the basic configuration like uh, similarly here your uh, h2 database like here jdbc uh h2 mem here give the your name anything test db abc db anything you can give always this new name are not generated by your spring framework now spring right. framework no customer want always generate the test db right so always right. they generate test db so just it is help us to easy testing always don't go to the check the log and check this id right and let's restart and after that you notice our our now you have to connect from this url this is the url right right i even let's check they generate the same url look like Notice they generate the same URL. Notice here. Let's say they generate right here. And right. here, now you can say, hey, console, refresh it. And here I'm going to connect with this URL, test it and connect. And check customer. Customers are created, right? And let's again restart server. Let's restart server. Then again, they use the same database name, name, test name, test name, right? Right. So this is at least uh, we are not again find out the new name, new name database. So notice again they generate the same, right? Test db. Right, right. So if you want to again test here again, if you want to test, just refresh them and they say hey again, just click the connect. By default, the same database name you are connected and test database. So just for easy testing, you have to also say, hey, Spring, can you just use my configuration like a MySQL database? Here you are writing MySQL, here you write the H2. Right, similarly, right. here driver name, similarly username, password, dialect, right? So this basic configuration you can do, right? It's clear? So yeah. our, our next objective was so we have to understand two way to load data one using this uh, post uh, our swagger api our this uh where is swagger api here you can upload the bulk data right maybe right. You can any record you can just submit here now i can submit this data updated and check from the swagger and i'm getting this new record updated right here right and this is the one way a second way i'm say hey no i can do from the code so i can just write one my uh, class load let's say whenever server start you can load this data okay? right. this is the one 
and sometime notice here you are generating data like a uh, hard coded right but here right, you have right. option, you can read any excel file and you can generate custom right right because this is java code core java code here we already know how to do the excel file or any file system list out all the data here and save them so and this particular code they run at the time when you server starts, uh, server starts okay this is always done with this code and always another first. yes we have another way so instead of uh, uh starting this code you why can that cannot write sql code itself insert right. sql you can run so let's i'm comment here i'm just comment out i don't want to save right right just restart. and i want after restart uh some data loaded not from this uh, uh java code from the file from the SQL script, right? We can right. do. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I start our load done, but we are not saving any database. So our database always be blank. So let's again test here, refresh. Notice I have to just need to connect here. I'm not going to again say ID, right? Mm -hmm. And test. Notice there is no data. Why? I, because here I just come in, don't want to save all the data right here. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. But I have a question can you not, uh, instead of this running at the server starting, can you not run this uh, at the uh, the customer uh, rest? Uh, uh, you know, we we created a uh, rest. Oh, like. Yes, here you can go here and just say submit, and we can generate a 10 regard, 5 regard, right? Right. So Swagger is the one way. Post API, this is the one basic way. Always you go use. But sometimes. No, what, I, what I'm saying is that uh, go to the, the code. Uh, yes. Under under uh, slash customers. Slash uh, customers. Uh, uh, slash customers here. Yeah. So can we not uh, uh, create a, a, in a loop 100 customers here? Yeah, you can, is, do, you can do here. Oh, you can, you do, can here. do that here? Yeah, okay. So you you're just. You're just showing a different way. Different way. Here you can also write a loop. Just any endpoint. Just let's hear my hello endpoint. Just I'm hit here. I want to create the 100 record. The same code, whatever you written here, the same code you can write in your any endpoint. Let this is the hello endpoint, right? And mm -hmm. here you can write this code. And just let's verify. I okay. I'm just written this code in the loop. Here, right? I'm creating right. I just so I'm saying that this code you can run in anywhere. But let's start. So notice until I'm not going to hit this uh, hello endpoint, this data is not going to generate, right? Right, right. It's not automatic. Like you have not to hit automatic. hello. But whenever you write here on command line runner, it will automatic run on the server. Okay. Command line, okay. Uh, so let's test that. You can do whatever you think almost you can do here you can maybe instead of stream api you can use the manually for loop a generate loop 110 250 right 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 and the low let's test and notice here uh let's uh uh get customer notice uh there is a no record here notice no record and let's verify database run again connect run select customer and run no record now let's going to hit my hello endpoint because hello endpoint i give in the intelligence they are going to add record right in hello endpoint right. i have written code if anyone hit this endpoint i am going to save data this, but this is logically you are violating the rule your get endpoint is responsible to getting the returning data not loading the data but you can do right Oh, okay, okay. So, so it is it is also saving. That means yeah, it's post. No, it's get it's endpoint. Post. Yeah, we are saving data. <laughs> you can oh, do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hit this hello endpoint. Right, right. Note before hitting hello, there is no customer, right? No customer. Right. Notice. And let's hit, hit this uh, hello endpoint, and say hey, try just hit hello endpoint. Now we are getting that one record hello message, but let's right. take the customer. We are generated all the customer, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We are getting now all the record. Oh, because it's coming from uh, because of the hello has 
He's saving all the data. Yeah, because Hilo have a capability to, because here Java code, you can write anything, right? Right, right. But generally, uh, we follow the basic guidelines of REST endpoint for the get endpoint to only do the getting data, not creating, right? So generally, right. this we should avoid, right? But you can do. There is not restriction, right? Similarly, only get for getting and put and post for updating record or creating record. This is just right, guide. Right. Right. Uh, so <laughs> here I'm trying to say one more way. Let's uh, stop this. And I say, why not? I am going to write some SQL query. So notice this is the one more way. Uh, you are just go to this uh, uh, application property. Here you can create one file. File way. File. I say name the data dot SQL. Right. Okay. Here you can write insert query, uh, insert SQL, anything. Insert. Oh, we can write SQL query here. Yes. Insert. Insert. Mm -hmm. What happened? I N S E R T. Insert. This programming almost looks like we don't need to write any SQL at all. It just works. <laughs> yes. Insert. Uh, into into insert into table name insert into yeah insert into users the like customers table name customers right yeah uh, value values and here say hey let's for example i want to one and comma name like a uh, smith right right this is another way, Smith. Okay. Smith. And let's uh, I add a 10 record, right? Right. Let's five, okay? One, two, three, three, four, and five. And here say, hey, uh, John. Here say, Harry. Here say, Tim. Here say, Ben, okay, any name. So notice, just so here you can also say whenever Spring Framework is start, they are looking. You have in the resource folder, you have any data data SQL. They are going to by default load this, run this query. Okay, okay, I see. I see. So let's uh, run and uh, see the customer name is correct. This is the customer. Customer is only table, not a customers, right? Yeah, customers is a, uh, the uh, the customer. Hmm. Okay, you 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 need the actual uh, yes name table. of the table. Okay. Here capital, uh, capital C, right? No, uh, always uh, table name created the lower case and good option. Uh, later part, uh, let's up do it. After that, you have also control. Whenever here, you can say give the table name as well. At the rate, table name. Table. You can say, hey, here, what is the table name would be? Here, whatever you give the table name, the same table name going to generate. Okay. Say this is the table name. So oh, what, okay. Not, I see. Not, I see. We are not still cover. Here, can whatever they want to give the name, here you can give the name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So let's give the customer and customer here. So let's run and look what kind of error or success happen. As of now, I say simply whenever server start, hey Spring Framework, read my SQL file and load this five data in our system, right? And let's uh, run. Okay, I'm going to running this application, right? And what the error you can observe? Let's do. Success, right? So anybody you run, they are saying some exception. They, they will notice they are going to uh, insert into customer table, but they say customer table not found. <laughs> because till now customer is not created. So if for, for that, we have to give one hint. Again, like uh, application property, hey, Spring, you can create the table. Already have uh, this information. Why not creating table, right? 
Right. Because before running a script, this is going to run, right? So right. one application just we have to mention in your application like uh, this. Data initializer, make it true. Whenever you go to initializing data, by default, first create table and that initialize database. Mm -hmm. So one configuration you have to add in your application property here. But didn't we create the table? I think we did. No, we are not doing anything now. Right? We are not creating any data. We are not a MySQL now. By default, the application is going to create. So what is happening here? Notice before this SQL file, our application work fine. Why? Because there is no in manually insert query. Where here say, whenever application is going to start, before they are going to save data, and they are inserting table in the customer, until now this Java code is not executed. Notice this is not. This is not executed. They are not creating table, right? So oh, because H2, H2 uh, remove the table all the time. Yeah, all the time. That's right. Yeah, that's but time. Let, let, let's say if it is MS uh, MySQL, this then... will not give a problem. Okay. Okay. Nice. But here, uh, what the just return in string? Whenever string, I am saying a data initializer means that whenever data is going to skew, please initialize the JPA. Hey JPA, please create this customer table. Right? This table mm. is going to create this due to this annotation. And now let's right. start. I'm just putting hey JPA. Data initializer to means ki I as an application want whenever server start, we are initializing this data. So please be ready for that, right? Now oh, JPA, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, now yeah. JPA mm -hmm. no key customer are going to initialize data from the SQL file. So I have to create those data sources, right? So right. let's uh, test. So this is another way where you can load bulk data in your system, right? In your database. Right. So notice there is you no know, any kind of exception. And let's go and check our database. I just run the query. Oh, there need to connect. And customer table and run the query. Notice this five record is come. Right. From where come? Due to this my SQL file. Oh, OK, OK. That's the first thing it ran. Yeah. This is the server startup. Right? So now right. whenever server startup, you can do you know, two places to load data. One, all your SQL files, or another way using the load data. This is the command run command line runner. Here you can do command line runner. Okay. <laughs> so please ensure this is the multiple place. Uh, uh, first way using this SQL file. Second way using this uh, command line. So run. My, my data would be ready. Yeah, data would be ready. Whenever server starts, this data would be ready always. And and another way you can write this code in any endpoint, <laughs> right? But generally avoid right, this. Right. Mm. Good. And so Good. let's uh, check from our uh, uh, if, uh, Swagger. Swagger also should respond to data, right? Right. So let me, hey, I am give all the customer. All. Yes, I am getting all data loaded always, right? So question now, our focus was the get ones. I want to ID, find ID two, right? Two, and you are getting the data. So I am getting data. What happened? I pass incorrect value 23. And notice, I am getting some this exception. What's the meaning? In the back end, notice in the server side, you notice I am giving proper error message. What error message? Your customer is not found for ID 23. You say this message come go to the UI, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do. The by default notice here we written we written a code. Whenever I am going to uh, find uh, data, if found data, they return. Not found then through exception. But this exception is not propagated to this UI. Right. Because I am getting something internal server error. But here, 500 generally, as a good practice, we avoid to throw some 500 error. OK? You notice uh, for each uh, HTTP have a defined standard server response code. Now we are coming under some 
rest uh, endpoint some standards okay like here notice response code response goes 500 let's say i pass this two then we are this response code what response code 200 what is the meaning of 200 uh it's, it's status okay let me see work okay. right so similarly in the case of uh, like a uh, 23 the status code something meaningful not the 500 means internal either not right. data not found here say our data not found right our application yeah. was fine but you say hey internal error so our objective let's i want give the proper status code and give the proper message ki, hey customer is not exist for the id 23 right right i'll do so here we have to do some again hint the spring framework hey spring framework whatever i am generating this runtime exception can you propagate to the response right so notice right. this message under the controller class right so here right. Right controller we have to give some hint a controller can you do something for me so we need to give the controller advice so we have to just let's couple of code and good option these things already uh, each and everything whatever we are running available in the spring documentation you don't do anything just go to the let's you want to do go to i'm going to explain how to do but you should aware this is not uh something i invent this is Spring Framework supported. Right, Just, right. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Spring, yeah. spring documentation is Spring, uh, Spring REST API. Let's take this is the basic problem with the REST API. Just click the uh, Spring documentation. Here uh, they mention if you want to your whatever error generating server give to the response, you can do. Just give some hint to your application. So this notice this is the uh, Spring Boot uh, first. Whenever we started learning this, this is the basic uh, get endpoint, and we uh, use this uh, uh, JPH 2 This already we cover this, but notice in the same class, they have written option. You can give advice to the exception. Just go down, go down. Here, given this uh, exception advice. This is the controller advice. This code you have to write, and it's work fine. Right. So whenever I'm going to explain all is available on the spring documentation okay so let's say here say hey this error message runtime exception i am give to the customer okay so just write one class here say hey uh just write one class here say hey class uh what uh, my my exception handling right this is this is also basic terminology exception handling how your application handle exception right Right. So let's see my uh, exception handling, exception uh, handling, and uh, you can. This is the big chapter for the spring. Spring handling is one of the big chapter. I'm just give the very basic. Oh, right? exception handling is a big chapter. Yes, just like in the core Java, we read complete couple of classes to handle the how to handle exception, right? Right, right, right. right. And the throw throws, right? Yes, yes. Here. So how any class you want to give some special responsibility, you have to tell a Spring Framework, hey, this is my uh, controller advice, right? So here you have to use the annotation controller advice, right? So hey, right. this is controller advice. What controller advice? Uh, understand. In the controller class, you say, whatever I am giving some exception, this is my uh, body exception, right? Request body something. So here say, I want uh, something go in the response right so notice here i am getting a response like uh, here i am getting response right so this is the response body right, right. So i say hey controller please prepare response body uh, i say response body first thing right what kind of response body you want to prepare right so here say a documentation say just say exception handler i want to at the rate exception handler here question ask you what kind of java have a lots of exception io exception file not found exception sql exception right runtime right. exception all pointer exception lots of you can write my own class right employee not found exception customer not found exception right right 
तो हियर यू कैन से आई जस्ट नो लेट्स सिंपल वे आई एम सेइंग कि सिंपली ऑल रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन आई वांट टू गो द कस्टमर रिस्पांस राइट आई जस्ट नो सो हे दिस इज द रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन सो आई एम सेइंग कि हे दिस इज माय रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन डॉट क्लास एनी एक्सेप्शन दैट जनरेट रन टाइम यू गिव टू द सर्वर बट जनरेट इज नॉट अ गुड वे बट जस्ट फॉर योर रेफरेंसेस आई एम से राइट एंड क्वेश्चन से कि नाउ व्हाट द in response what the response code you want to say here here what the response code 500 you want to say something different i am say we have uh, to follow the standard right yeah so here we have to again say uh, like uh, which status code you want to say so say response status say response status what the status status you want notice i want to like uh, lots of status codes defined here found not found right Lots of exception code already. This is the standard, right? Bad exception, accepted, okay, everything, right here. So oh, let's say you still, you still want to display five hundred. No, I want to different, right? Yeah, yeah, different. Okay, okay. Mm. Status code, something like a status code, like a not found, right? Yeah, not and yeah, no content, not found. So notice these are the uh, HTTP status code standard thing. is aware you say what do you mean to all the status code here 100 means continue 100 to let's here say 200 means okay right mm. yeah here accepted means 201 whenever you are going to create request now then you have to return 201 right right and then 202 for accepted similarly no content 204 are not found file found 2302 similarly all the status code you have right here So right. what status code you want? You can say. Notice here. Let's five hundred. Notice this is the five hundred error. Five hundred here. Uh, this is the five hundred error. Five hundred bad request, not found. All the things error here, right? Right. So we are follow the same standard. So here say, hey, uh, this is the my simple. I want to not found, right? Not found means what? Four zero four, right? Not not right. found. Right? So here now it's good. So now you say, hey controller, this is my advice. I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. That's good. Now, but what the error message? I want to return some. Is what message I want to send here? Right? This is the message I want. Right? So you say, hey, uh, I want uh, return a string message. Let's get message. Right? Any message you can name here. Right? right. And here say. uh whatever the uh, your exception this class whatever the exception i found right exception uh, return exception dot exception dot get messages that's this thing help us to uh, our controller know i have to return response to the take response body and throw exception this code only execute if your error you generate run time exception right so this code automatically spring framework work when your code throw run time exception whenever you are throwing run time exception they are finding any controller for that yes this is the run time exception yes this is the controller i am going to return your message here right so this is same four line code written here notice and just let's uh, test right? right right and this is a generally bad practice to handle the run time exception because lots of run time exception come but for learning purpose you can explore anything right so load it started and here you say Uh, let's uh, swagger and my test. Uh, let's first test successfully. They are responding or not, right? To record, we are getting the record to two hundred. Okay, right? let I five uh, something incorrect. So notice here, customer ID not found for twenty three, right? Right. Four zero four. Because I set the status code four zero four, right? Right. Four zero four. So now your code is working. So you want the message on the body on the. Yeah. So now notice here, 
this message come which I written, right? Right. A same message you are getting on a server as well, right? The same message here. Notice. Notice here. Uh, whatever the message, you no, know, no exception here, right? Right. Because now you say whenever you are throwing exception, runtime exception. Spring framework going to find out any handler available for runtime exception. You say yes, you have a one handler runtime exception. This and right. they are read the only error message, right? So, good option here you can say runtime exception is not good. I just name the customer not found, right? Right, it should be like here, not runtime. Yes, say hey. Class like a class customer not found, right? Something like this, right? Customer not found, okay? Right. And you know uh, how to if this is my class, I right? okay? And I want this should be generated here, uh, like here, not this, this, right? Customer not oh, found, okay. right? Hmm. right? Not my right. class. So how do so here notice you write a, already in the core java we say you can write your custom exception right here say right. my custom exception extend runtime exception right right runtime exception null pointer exception exception class any class you can send it a same all over what i'm letting same thing here explain notice i'm notice here decreases crat runtime exception so i'm not going to doing any extra thing right whatever you want you can right Right, here, right. runtime exception I can create and just it's done. This is your class, right? It is same as Java, like what we studied. See, all things Java. And now say here, notice our code is uh, they say, hey, no default constructor, right? So let's create the constructor here, right? Right. Let's create the con constructor, okay? Constructor. Okay, here. Okay, I created the constructor. Now my code is happy here. So, customer not found exception, customer is not found. I did this, right? Right. It's good. And now yeah. this is go to the your class. And now, if you run again, let's run and what happened? Let's run. So, now you can say, hey, I can here intention now you can write your own exception class as well as custom exception class right right so these all are the spring documentation available just we have to explore and learn and let's test right, right. now i test it and learn here so notice here customer not found right it's clear right so this is the way you can write your own custom class or runtime exception. It's your meaning, right? So good option. Uh, you have to also give your class name to here, right? So that this exception only valid for this customer not found exception, right? Right. Customer not found exception. So the same. This is the same thing in this documentation. Help us. Here they created one class, employee not found exception, right? In not found exception, and here they mention here employee not found, employee not found, right? Right, right. And generally, your class name exception then should be refactor like a uh, uh, this class not found exception, exception, right? Right. Exception. Give me means that this is the custom exception. You can write your own exception. Uh, this code just help us Spring framework. Hey Spring, please propagate my server exception to the re UI response. Now this is the help us response body. We were generating response body when any customer not found exception reach. Right? Right. So whenever I say, hey, if employee found that return, if employee not found, then throw customer not found exception, right? Right. And in this way, you can test here. Okay. So this is the very sometime exception handling is also very meaning, right? Whenever you are right. exposing this endpoint, you have to return proper error code to the customer, right? Proper error message so that they can understand what they are doing 
something wrong, right? Right, right. Now it's done, and let's swagger, swagger, and test. Hey, uh, valid request like a valid request like a four, right? For the valid request, I am getting proper data, right? And say, right. hey, the one, I am say, hey, oh, four hundred four customer is not found for id 41 right all oh, right right okay yeah same message we are given here right customer is not found for id this right okay so this message oh, okay yeah. yeah so whatever the message here you want or you can say hey no i this is not a good way i just write hey, so this, this exception this message actually goes to the body or the console body of the api response of the response. Customer ID, I uh, can say break it. I want to this my message is not found. Double code plus plus, right? Whatever the message you want to prepare, you can prepare this message, right? Okay, he say customer ID, right. uh, like uh, here, say uh, maybe colon a space, right? This right. way, whatever the message you want to prepare, right? ID is not found, right? So whenever right. I run restart, this message come in the response body. Here come response body. What is the response body? Mm. So this is also one of the very key feature in the case of REST or yeah, microservice uh, you are building. Please be carefully propagate your server error, right? Right. And let's test here. So notice here. Customer ID 41 not found in this message, right? Response body. Right. Now in the server, you're not getting any exception, right? Notice? Yeah. Server or, or why? Why is not on the server on the console? Because I say key whenever you are throwing exception, and you already say exception handling I've written. This is my exception handling code. This exception hmm. come, I am giving them only this message to response body. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You are hmm. saying any exception, customer not found come, exception handler. Exception not found, yes. So prepare response body and what's the message in this case? This message you get me, right? Mm -hmm. So this is right. a simple one line of basic one method you can write. Uh, this is known as a exception handler. Exception handler, okay. Yeah. <coughs> got it, got it. So this is also very uh, key uh, things uh, you remind me. Key. Uh, whenever we are building the REST endpoint, we miss key, how we can so my exception on the response body right right so this is uh, for the day. any till now any count confusion any doubt what we did no it was resourceful like a lot of stuff. We have lots of things right so you see a lot of small stuff but they all work together very useful yes okay very useful so now we can know how to our hi one more thing let's do so now here i want uh uh, get endpoint that return one record, right? It's okay. What I want to two, three, four record, not the here they return all. Okay, this endpoint return all customer. That's good. But I really don't want. I want a specific ID three, four, five only, right? Right. Instead of here, I can pass only one ID, right? Only one ID. Maybe here I pass three, so I can get the record of three. But I want right. two, three, and four both. Then I'll do. Okay. So you have to develop some and get endpoint that received not the only one request, multiple requests, right? Right, right. So here we have a couple of approaches. Here we have a couple of approaches. This is the one approach till now we have covered, like customer by ID. But might be if you want to two ID, yeah, three ID, four ID, the whole do. It would be good, you can say, not one, but uh, 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 one, two specific, two to spay, two on to limit, okay? Some limit, right? Mm. Some limit. What customer want? I say one, two, many. One, two, uh, some limit, okay? Some limit. So question here. Uh, I can pass list or not, right? Maybe here right. say list of 
just i'm exploring list of longs right right something uh, so i will do think right so here you have to list of ids one two three four five right Right. So question our repos dot have some method find i find id or find all find find let's uh, find ids multiple ids you can pass find uh, sort find alls find alls sort uh, find ids find by longs find uh, Find all sorts, examples, examples, finds all pagination sort. Hey, you can, as of now, let's go simple way. Already we have IDs. Just say IDs dot, uh, just say basic loop, right? I don't know. We understand the basic way. For loop, right? And we have a long long uh id column ids okay we see basic for loop and here just say uh what do you say let's first receive uh what we receive we are receiving our list of ids or not right uh here we, what i'm saying what we can pass so here you can say Multiple approach. Here you can set the instead of get, you can say let here say one is the I think uh, pa request path request mm, request param request parameter mentioned here and let's uh, 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 say view uh, uh, lists okay get list get you can give the get gets uh, gets get uh, customers or uh, get uh, something something okay get uh, what say gets list okay as of now okay and here i say as of now just say s out i want to check first we receive the value s out s out b i just check this ids we are able to receive or not first then you have to write a code to return all right i have to just say void okay. and just check check this endpoint whatever i there are multiple approach good approach would be post or get both you can do but let's say this uh, parameter works or not but surely uh, we can do Uh, let's make this what response uh, is this. notice this is the list and click here uh, try out notice they are asking the list here pass uh, maybe two here pass like a three right I want oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 right and here just submit so three and four let's uh, in the server three and four right right so now we can call this our loop and return the both, right? So you can uh, so stop here. Sake now we have IDs, and I can say hey repos rip. Uh, what to say for uh, where ID comma IDs, right? And say right. here. Uh, just create one uh, list of customer, right? A response equal to new array list, right? And here say uh, repos repo dot find by ID, find by ID, one ID I pass, ID three, and uh, just uh, Find by ID, just so, and return this. Right? Return this. Return this. 
response. Okay. So here say response dot result dot add and here the customer, right? Whatever customer we have. Okay. Here. I am returning one by one. Here say uh, list of Okay. Uh, this one is complicated. I see this. Oh, no, 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 just simple. Okay, so are we creating those boxes or you are like uh, adding those numbers, those boxes are getting created automatically? Automatic. Automatic, this is the created by this annotation. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to explore lots of options, okay? So here yeah. I'm saying, hey, uh, whatever the, this uh, box created by this parameter list. Okay. This box is created by this box is created by this just list, a list, right? Right. And they created. And here. What I'm doing here, I'm just receiving the list of IDs and just loop them all by all and all by find as a return. Right? Right. Okay. Just test it. So, similarly, here I say, as per your need, you can define your ID. Sometime one request, bulk request, two requests, three requests, four requests, right? Right. So it should be started and that's okay. And customer list, you say, uh, so here customer list endpoint, just go here and say try out. Notice this is a list of IDs. You can IDs, pass IDs two, pass IDs five, right? Two and five. Okay. Just execute, and you are receiving two and five, right? Uh -huh. So, what the difference is between this? Uh, this is just keep only one. Let's say one, two, one, only, right? Here only one ID option, right? ID uh -huh. four. So I am getting only one, right? Only four. Right. Uh, this is specific. Miss I here say. All this means they are not filtering to pass me any. They say whatever the database table exists, I give you the all, right? They give the all, right? Right. Right. This endpoint return all the customer. This endpoint return only one. They between what ID you want, right? Right. Right. Sometime uh, you need customer want. Hey, I want to. Sometime this is the like a uh, bulk post. Similarly, this is a bulk get, you can say. Good name, like give this name. bulk get, right? Say bulk get, look. Say, hey, say right. bulk uh, get customers, right? In this customer. Okay. Bulk get customer list, give the name, and similarly here say uh, create many. Bulk post customer, right? Okay. Create customer. Create. Okay. Customer. Right. So this is the naming convention which you feel comfortable you can give, right? Right. So this bulk is many, many applications required. Conditionally, because data customer want sometime one, not only one or all. This is the uh, border case. One or all, right? What the between? Right. So you have to build uh, some times our endpoint that support between, right? So here say bulk post means you can create bulk record. Here say ki bulk get request means ki you just set me those ID you want, right? I want two IDs, whatever the ID you want, three, right. ID you want one ID you want uh, two only, right? Yeah. It's cute. So we are getting the only these three record, right? Right. As it's clear. Sometime this endpoints needs like a bulk create or bulk get. By default, till now we have to understand key get all, all get, 
or get one. But you can get a specific, right? Right. And code is nothing, just what the difference is. In the case of here, single, you say list, just. OK, yeah. But and, how come we didn't put uh, like a, a bracket ID on the on the URL? Like, uh, no, URL, in, you can do in URL here, URL, URL 1, 2, 3, limited, right? 1, 2, 3, how many number of you can write, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. As, see, a, see. as customer tell, let 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500, 1000, whatever they want, right? Mm -hmm. Here, only one A can pass, it's one. But if 3, 4, 5, 10, how many numbers say ID 1, so ID 2, ID 3, ID At the rate of request farm, it's coming from the body? Or it's coming no, from this come from this here. This is a uh, come from here. Look like a, a, a request URI. This is the, you can say request party. It's come under request, okay. not the body. OK, because I remember the, for the path variable, it comes from the URL. Ah, this path variable, this is the path variable from this URL, right? Mm -hmm. This is the URL you can read. And here, you cannot do URL. I need a complete, I a complete list, right? Right. The only difference is in your ID, here list of IDs. And now we have a list of IDs. Just make a loop, find by ID, find a add in the list, right? And right. I can create one new list and just add in the list, find by ID, find. Let's and just return them, whatever you already want, right? Mm -hmm. It's good? Yeah, it's good now. Let's explore. These are the very, very basic things. And but sometimes it's really useful, I'm saying. Right. right? Good. So yeah. any doubt, any question for the day today? No, I'm good. So let's explore any doubt, any question. We will again discuss on the point, right? Right. So good for the day? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.